I mean, who has it? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Tyler, I know that I dragged you a lot. I was just pulling your leg. Welcome back to another movie commentary reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. Crazy Rich Asians is a fun movie that Steph hasn't seen. I'm going to give him a look at it. I intended to go see it in the cinemas and then just never got around to it. Right. It definitely gets into a whole area of money culture that is foreign, but... Might not be that foreign for me. I grew up pretty privileged. Not this rich. Not that rich. Not huh? even close. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. This is more of the kids you grew up around. This is more than that. Oh, even greater heights. This is richer than my holiday town. Fair enough. Yeah. To be clear, I grew up privileged i am nowhere near that rich anymore <laughs> <laughs> not even a fraction of it things change yes they do Got some swing god i dislike jazz <laughs> not like a hundred percent of jazz but like 95 percent this is just a flashback right oh maybe yeah. it doesn't take place in the 90s it's like a prologue i suppose oh yeah rude what a little prick yeah may i help you this is the call for private hotel <laughs> Yeah. I have a reservation. We spoke on the phone when I confirmed yesterday. There's why would she? Yeah, yep. why would she have a need mm. for this hotel, right? Don't seem to have your reservation. Bro, did you even look? Buddy. Hotel manager, is there a problem? My family and I would like to be shown to our suite. We're fully booked, madam. Bro, did you check? Yeah. With her reservation. <laughs> may I suggest you explore Chinatown? Oh. You may not suggest that. explore Bao Kui La. Yeah. Please, may I use your phone to call my husband? And I just love that they got someone who physically looks like a boiled potato. Mm. Back when people didn't have cell phones. Although I actually do find it a little weird that in 1995, this family doesn't have a cell phone. Yeah, of some kind. Yeah, we're talking about crazy rich Asians, right? Yeah. I must ask you to leave or I'll have to call the police. Eleanor, I've just got off the phone with your husband. Yeah. Get the Lancaster suite ready now. Yeah, you're done fucked up. I am selling the hotel to the young family of Singapore. Oh. Yep. Meet the new lady of the house. You know, I can't listen to this man without thinking of the wild thornberries. <laughs> yeah, no. Smashing. This is Nigel Thornberry, older. <laughs> Meet the new boss. <laughs> well, for now, as long as she doesn't fire them. To get a mop. The floor is wet. Actually, I don't feel so bad now. Mm. Good on you, kid. He was like, oh yeah, they're probably going to be racist. <laughs> yeah. Sure. That's what it is. It was all planned ahead. Yeah, this, this kid genius. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I assume that's good. I don't know much about poker. I mean, yes, but poker is detailed. It's a fun game, but I swear to God, you cannot play poker without betting money. I'm not saying that they're not. I'm just saying for me personally. Sure. I'm oh. I was just never into it. They're obviously betting, but it is specifically a gambling game. Nothing. That uh, was a, your bluff. It is a presentation. Oh. How did I beat T.A. Curtis? I know that Curtis is cheap. <laughs> Brutal. The look on his face like, yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Curtis wasn't playing to win. He was playing not to lose. Yeah, very specific distinction. It's playing out of fear yes. or desire for the goal. Yeah, that's true. I always find that kind of shit fascinating. Like behavioral analysis, especially in like sports and stuff like that. Like the different like mindsets. Oh, absolutely. So what about us taking an adventure east? You want to get pork buns in the East Village? Yes. 100%. Sure. Sounds good. That's totally it. I was actually thinking of further east. Like Queens? <laughs> it's a little too far. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Queens? Singapore. Colin's wedding. It's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. Don't you want to see where I grew up? Meet my family? Oh, is he the kid? I believe so, yeah. Mm. From memory. I want the whole island to meet the brilliant Rachel Chu. There's a lot of people on that island, you know. We're going to be there a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, in his world, everyone knows what he's doing. And yes, she was, uh, well. I see. You can see. Right. So yeah. he is that big of a deal. He's a big deal. See, to me, Nick Young is a kind of crazy basketball player. Oh, right. That's all I can think when I see these guys going, is that Nick Young? I'm yeah. Like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Swaggy P. Swaggy P. He literally gave himself that nickname. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I really don't care who you are. <laughs> I know. I always find that cringe. It's tough. Right. So, uh, yes, yeah, she's part of the gossip circulation now. Yep. She doesn't even know it. Damn. 
<laughs> oh, wow. That's so rough. I mean, that's the internet. Mm. I should not be surprised at all. Yeah. Also, it gets to the family before they even get there. Uh-huh. I see. Yeah. Look at that nice little home of theirs. Yeah. Their humble abode. Right, yeah. Is Nikki bringing our girls to Colin's wedding? Her name is Rachel Chu. Fucking everyone knows. Yeah. Did you know he had a girlfriend? Nick dates many girls. It's hard to keep track. He's such a charming playboy. <laughs> My son is such a fucking stud. You expect me to be able to keep up? <laughs> if you want, I have a private investigator. Very discreet. Oh, man. And the way she says that, it feels like that's a normal thing for them. Oh, yeah. She's not the only person and she's recommended them to. Mm. We should return to the word of God. Bring up your children in the discipline. Oh, I do hope she's a good Christian girl. <laughs> <laughs> Woman must be serious. Exactly. Uh, they can't stay away from the gossip for more than a few nope. seconds. It's my mom. Do you mind? Do you love this? They haven't wow. even left oh, the man. fucking cafe yet. Oh, man. Everything okay? I haven't even done with the dessert yet. <laughs> she's only just started eating. <laughs> Are you bringing the girl you're seeing to Colin's wedding? He's like, shit. We were literally just talking about that. <laughs> how could you know? What do you mean how, dude? Everybody knows. Mother senses were tingling. <laughs> yeah. Now he gets it. Uh-huh. Radio 1 Asia. Yeah, like... We're looking forward to having you home. I grew up pretty wealthy. Not like this. See what I'm this saying now? This is a whole other level. Yeah. And this is the start of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having the house redone. And it's not ready for guests. Just the introduction to how bonkers rich they are. If Rachel comes, I think she might be more comfortable staying somewhere else. Oh, come on, man. Mm -hmm. I saved you a piece. A very small piece of that. Thank you very much. That's hey. what you get. You started this. And it was a very small dessert that he ate half of already. I know, right? How's your mom? Everything okay? Couldn't be better. Liar! Hey, mom, this one's kind of cute. What do you think? No, you can't. Blue and white is for Chinese funerals. <laughs> Okay. Okay, for sure. Hey, you are the one who asked for my help picking all the dress, only because I hardly know anything about them. Every time I bring them up, it changes the subject. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe his parents are poor. He has to send them money. That's what all good Chinese children do. Oh, boy. That's a wishful thinking right there. So far from the truth. If all goes well in Singapore, you might just come back with a souvenir. I like her mum. Yeah. <laughs> her mum's got a good vibe to her. You yeah. Know I, mean? I mean, his parents can't not like me, right? Oh. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Bringing a girl can mean a lot to these overseas families. They're different from us. How are they different? I mean, okay, yeah, she doesn't know that it, he has yeah. a rich family. They're Chinese. I'm Chinese. Rich families really do care, from what I have oh, experienced, yeah, sure. about who they have around. Yeah. You grew up here. You're different. But this I relate to oh, very yeah, much too. so. And yeah, a lot of the kids I grew up around didn't quite get that either. Whereas myself and my brother who mm. visited Italy a mm. few times spoke it fluently. Mm. Our mm. parents were first generation immigrants, mm. but we were called the Australians. That's who we were in that town. You know? uh, I've had Thai people literally refer to me as the white guy. Whoa. I was like, hey, oh, brutal. Like, These are guys who knew. They know I'm half. This is not good enough. No, no, no. That's, that's half too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> half too much. <laughs> Yeah, Miss Chu, I'll take a bag and get you checked into first class. No, there's a mistake. We're economy people. No. He was choosing to be economy people for you. <laughs> well, to be fair, I don't think they're flowing together yet. Oh, okay. They've yeah, been yeah. together that for like sense. a year. Yeah. Here's the way to your private suite. She just hasn't experienced his wealth yet. No, yeah. Man, I haven't even been in business class. Yeah. This is crazy. After takeoff, should we convert your suite into a bedroom? Every time I walk past these areas in a plane, I'm like, yeah, yeah. this ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> My family has business with the airline. What kind of business? Real estate, <laughs> investment, other things. You know, vague rich people stuff. You know, controlling global economies, that <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> Organized crime. <laughs> rich people stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so your family is rich? We're comfortable. That is exactly what a super rich person would say. Mm, yes. Yeah, it is. It that is, is that's that's very so true. <laughs> I mean, you have a Jamba Juice card. You play basketball at that Y that kind of smells. Pretending to not be rich by being cheap as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> the perfect disguise. <laughs> kind of just want to know what I'm getting into. And, you know, they're your family. It's a lot to spring on someone, but I'm glad she's taking it so well. Though it's pretty easy with a <laughs> glass of champagne in your hand. <laughs> and he's only giving her little bits at a time. Yeah. <laughs> There's my cousin Alistair who works in movies. <laughs> work in movies. Oh, He's dating Kitty Pong. It's feeling very emotions. Can you feel it? Oh, I can feel all of you. Yeah. <laughs> 
God. That's exactly where the emotions sit. Yeah, for sure. Nope. Yeah. What about your cousin Eddie? You know, never talked about him. Big finance guy in Hong Kong. Real family man. Check this guy. You know, if you move, it will look more natural. This way you get all optimal angles. <laughs> and they're all frozen in place. The perfect posing <laughs> oh, children. No. It's an honor to be photographed by you. People will love it in the next Hong Kong Vogue. He figured out the best angles. Hong Kong Vogue? I knew it. If you want a Bottega gown, we'd be in the American Vogue. Wear that gown to hell, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as healthy as their relationship gets. Fair enough. Astrid is probably the only one I'm actually close with. And she's really down to earth once you get to know her. Oh yeah, that's so. I like this character. That's what I'll say. Okay. Top of a class at Oxford, multiple charities, and is a fashion icon. Biggest heart of any of my cousins. And now this is of course the moment where they show how much heart she has. Okay. Hi. I'm Astrid. Dude, it looks like an ad for like an airline commercial. Doesn't it? Right? And who's this? Bun. It's like some kind of ad in general. Yeah. I think my man looks very dashing with his bow. Thank you. That's sweet. But yeah, you can feel the vibe coming off her. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. These are all brand new from Antwerp. Yeah, now it really feels like a jewelry ad. Yeah. Not just because of the jewels, but the framing and mm -hmm. everything. What are those? Burmese pearl drop earrings set with emeralds and rare blood red rubies. I'm confused about the blood red ruby thing. Where I don't see. Oh, they're there. Okay. Little ones. I couldn't see them. I was like, there's no red here. How much? Having you wear one of my pieces. Still kind of purple, but whatever. Better publicity than I can buy. I'll let them go at cost. 1.2 million. Well, what a deal. Yeah. <laughs> That's him parting ways with no profit. That's well, a house in Sydney. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a bad house in Sydney, but still. Black mold infested, but still. Why are we staying in a hotel? Aren't good Chinese sons supposed to stay with their parents? I'm not that good a son. I just want you to myself. Just for a bit. Before the family sinks its claws into her. Yeah. That would be weird being an air host and knowing that the people in first class were just fucking. Yeah. Just fucking. I don't think that they're soundproof booths or anything. Oh, uh, I really hope they are. Does all of first class just listen to each other fucking on the plane? <laughs> That's part of what you're paying for. Right. <laughs> These are a couple of their college friends. Right. So these these are the ones who are getting married, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he's the best man. Yes. It has been too long. Welcome <laughs> back. Lovely to finally meet you. Nice to meet you too. You'll notice they all have vaguely English-ish accents. You know why, right? Because that's where they um came up. It's because where most of them tend to study abroad. Ah, okay. You know, and of course they go to the like prestigious colleges and universities. Yeah, yeah. Each of these water stores sells one dish and they've been perfecting it for generations. Oh. Man. I know. Every time we mm. watch a movie, it makes me fucking hungry. Because they always got to do a sweet food scene. I know, right? Like oh, fuck off. I know. Piles oh. of awesome looking food. Just stop, man. Just mm. stop. I need your help tomorrow. I need to do some groomsman stuff, and I don't want to do it alone with Bernard Ty. That makes sense. I cannot believe that you got that guy to be your groomsman. You know who Bernard is. You'll see. Okay. Thank you. Into I rest my case. Well, it wasn't up to me. Bernard used to steal my tuck shop money when we were kids. So why is he coming to the wedding? Until Nicky Nick beat him up. I threw a single punch and the guy sat on me, so... Rich families. Oh, yeah. The connections, the relationship. Yeah, mm. okay, okay. To my best man, Nick Young. Can't fight for nuts. If Nick was the one who stood up for you by beating up the guy who was picking on you, but he can't fight, what does that say about you? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, no, I never tried. Yeah. <laughs> if I tried. If I tried, then I would suck, but <laughs> by not trying, I can't suck. Yeah. That's something I've never done. <laughs> it's my bachelorette party this weekend, and I would love you to come. That would be amazing. That's Am I out of the picture? Am I I totally yes, I've replaced it. you with Bernard. Understandable decision. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I saw Nick like this. He's just happy to be home with you. Yeah, of course. He loves you, man. And you can see, he seems like a pretty sweet guy yeah. who genuinely cares about his partner. Seems Fantastic. very sincere. Having met some people who really let the money get to their heads, mm. very, very down to earth. I've definitely met both some rich people who totally knew that they were super privileged and, you know, were cool. And then, of course, many others who no idea. Or worse, have a clue, but just act that way anyway. Yeah. <laughs> they feel they like think me. they're entitled yeah. to it. I know I'm this rich. That's mm. what gives me the right to act this way. Yeah. It's Michael here. Not yet, man. Pearson woke up. He wants to see you. Oh, so many serving stuff. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is just at her hotel. God damn. She's mm. got an entourage. These little hidden presents? No. I mean, hidden, yes. Presents, no. Okay. You'll see. Of course she speaks French. She's very well educated. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that kid was asleep. You don't have to keep talking. He don't know. Let him dream of croissants. <laughs> don't forget, wedding festivities start on Wednesday. Nick and his new girlfriend will be there. You'll like her. Gosh, she's a commoner like me. Because she's a nice person, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I caught the maids shove a pair of Jimmy Choo's behind a dryer. You did. You can buy whatever you want. 
I get it. So you can see why she was hiding her stuff now? Right, because he doesn't come from the same kind of wealthy background she does? Correct. Everybody knows you wear the money pants in this family. Man, if you look that good, I'm not sure if you should care that much. <laughs> it's a handsome man. I know you don't like expensive gifts, but you're a CEO. You should look the part. Little on the skinny side for me, but you know, whatever. I'm not the one who wants to fuck him, so. Yeah, you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah, you can see how torn he is. Yeah, he knows she's trying to just do something nice, yeah. but it's kind of a reminder at the same time. Yeah, that can be difficult. Do not know how I would fare in his kind of position. Would I be super insecure about the money thing? Maybe. The important thing is how you follow up on it. How do you handle it? Exactly. True story. I told Pickle and I would meet up with her today. Don't forget, dinner at a mm -hmm. I can't wait to show you off. I know he means mm -hmm. that, but buddy, you know your family. So, God damn. I like, think this is her friend's house. A literal gold fountain. No, you're in the house! Really? Uh, here we go. Yeah. You look amazing. I don't know. Something's never changed, right? I gotta say, I've never liked blonde hair on Asians. It was weird when my hair went kind of blonde from just being in the sun and stuff too much. I don't mind it. I think it's more person to person. It's gotta be individual. Just for me. Didn't like blonde hair on me. Yeah. Don't like it on like my friends and family. Yeah, fair enough. Welcome! is amazing, Mrs. Go. Oh, my brother frosted his tips. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Your brother's full tie, right? <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> we were inspired by the whole of Mueller and Donald Trump's bathroom. I can see that. Yeah. You like it or not? No, I do not like it. It's uh, pretty extra. The gold is very brilliant. It's mm. ridiculous. Rachel Chu, oh, we are grateful for all the help you have given Pick Lin. Oh, Ken. shit. Kenny. Without you, she would be a hot mess. <laughs> Look on her face. Nice to meet you too. Chu, Kuku, could you? Oh boy. Wait for it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have an accent. I, I studied in the States too. Seriously? Yeah. Don't be shy. You're not a model. <laughs> far from it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a model. So far away. So brutal. <laughs> what are you doing, Melika? I'm an economics professor. Very impressive. Naturally, they're stoked with that. You both went to the same school. Someone came back with a degree. Oh, man. Yep. And the other one came back as Asian Ellen. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the granddad. Rich of him to be calling her Asian Ellen when he looks like Asian Elvis <laughs> with that fucking hair. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. D no, dude, no. Oh, God, no. This is the kind of girl you should date. Smart, beautiful. Is in a relationship? He doesn't care. She has an amazing backside. Gold standard. Maybe don't talk about her butt like that right then. Oh, God. I love you. Oh, why? She's here with her boyfriend. My boyfriend's actually from Singapore. So mm. uncomfortable. Yeah. We're here to go to his best friend's wedding. His name is Nick Young. <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. See, you think these people are rich. They are not. Mm, by comparison. Yes. The Nick you're dating is Nick Young. The one and only Swaggy P. <laughs> Swaggy P. <laughs> you are invited to Colin Cole's wedding. Yeah, you guys know them or something? Yeah, everyone does. Literally everyone in Singapore, I think, is what they're going for. They're just the biggest developers in all of Singapore. Hey, bud. I know, right? What the fuck? Did not get permission for that. The Youngs are like royalty. Did you not know? Does she not know? This was not one of those little bite-sized pieces that uh, he was planning on giving her. Nah. <laughs> this is the whole lot. Don't tell what they like. I mean, I haven't met them yet. I'm going to meet them tonight. I'm going to Nick's grandma's house. Wearing this. He was going to take her from, yeah, okay, I'm actually a little bit rich to all of it. Yeah. All the money. Yep. These people aren't just rich. They're crazy rich. Yeah. There's new money all over Asia. But the young family, they're old money rich. All other level. Yeah. They came to Singapore when there was nothing but jungle. There was a snake here eating an apple. <laughs> Sure. Now, they're the landlords of the most expensive city in the world. There is a difference between new money and old money. In every culture. In every culture, yeah. Yeah, but Nick's not like that. Even if he isn't, the family is. You need to not look like Sebastian of the Little Mermaid. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit much. <laughs> Come on. Are you sure you gave me the right address? The GPS says there's like nothing here. They're too rich to be on the map. <laughs> yeah, you can't afford to be here. <laughs> yeah. You actually use the... Okay, hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> So uncomfortable. Yeah. You know where the young family house is? Rachel Chu for the whisk. I love how they didn't even bother talking to them. Yeah. Is that a phone? Is that a gun knife? And yes, it is a gun knife, as you want to call it. Yeah. Or a bayonet, either mm. way. No, <laughs> gun knife makes more sense. You sure. <laughs> mm. Totally. I've definitely been to places somewhat, not quite this level of rich, but where like, you go in the front gate and you still have to drive like five minutes to get to the house. Right, yeah. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's 
hundred mil worth of real estate. Yeah, this really does feel more like um, royalty. Yeah. Like actual royalty. I mean, that's basically what it is. Old fucking money. Just literal royalty comes with a crown. That's about it. <laughs> Pretty much the only difference. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Rachel. It's like the Asian bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, Jesus. You, you could have told her some of this before she drove up to the match. Yeah, this is a lot. Yeah. First class on a plane is one thing. That's one thing. But this? I think I've just fallen in love with you all over again. Which is great, because I fell out of love with you last week, yeah. and I've been figuring out how to tell you. <laughs> oh, finally, seeing you in rich clothing has rekindled <laughs> my affection. This is my friend, Picklin. Hey there. Howdy. Do you want to stop by for some dinner? Oh, no, I couldn't empower No, it's seriously, we've got a lot. Yeah, I'll fucking come to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> how good is that? Yeah. You have to refuse at first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got to show the manners. Also love this. She's ready. <gasps> She's fucking prepared. Nope. <laughs> Walk of shame. Well, you have a cocktail dress in your trunk? I'm not an animal, Rachel. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, no. A party animal? <laughs> yeah. Grandmother's invited some of her friends over tonight, and one is a blooming. It's a whole thing. They're not going to do something like this without it being a full thing. Uh, they got a lot of people, but it's interesting when you see the centerpiece of what they came here to, like, watch. Maybe not, like, the reason for the party, but you'll see. Bathrooms up the stairs and get changed soon. Okay, go, I'll find it. <laughs> Look how she's not trying to hide it at yeah, all. Yeah, she's, uh, she's shameless. Mm. When you said you grew up in your grandma's house, I wasn't expecting this. I mean, who would be? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, a little bit much, I know. I mean, there are armed guards out there. Only a few armed guards. And a giant tiger. <laughs> Okay. A great grandfather actually shot him when he ran into the house. Oh, damn. Yeah. Do you want to head in? I wanted to bring you over to my mum first. Ah, uh, yeah. Get the hardest part out of the way first. Mm. I'm actually really glad I have dumplings and fried onions because I'm going to eat that shit right after this. Fuck you. <laughs> Mum. You need a heck so uncapped. What? <laughs> yeah, he looks raggedy, right? Mom, this is Rachel Chu. God, what's she gonna have to say about her? I, I'm so happy to meet you. Mrs. Oh, don't oh, hug her. No. Yeah, that's. Nick tells me you're a professor. What do you teach? I teach economics. NYU's youngest faculty member. Notice how she doesn't care at all. Yeah. Not even remotely uh, impressed. Sounds challenging. Are your parents academics as well? Dad actually died before I was born, and mom didn't even go to college. She hardly spoke any English when she immigrated what to the you United say? States. Oh, just mm -hmm. barely paying attention. Yep. Now she likes to say that she's flushing top real estate broker. She could be. She must be so proud. Do you have statistics? Yeah. She knows that I'm passionate about what I do, and she's always wanted that for me. Yeah, and you can tell mm -hmm. the brief introduction we had to her mom. How American. Ugh. Yeah. The mother is very open minded. Not like here, where parents are obsessed keeping the life of the children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she says that. Oh, oh yeah. man, so openly. Rachel, it was lovely meeting you. Yeah, none of what she just heard is stuff she, she likes. Yeah. Thank you, you too. And you can really see that tactful hiding of it, mm -hmm. just barely, mm. but still. <laughs> Civil. Just know? enough to be able to say, well, I didn't say it though. Yeah. Nikki. Bastard. Rachel. This is my husband, Michael. There's so much about you. It's funny, everyone always says that, but it's usually not true. Mm. You must be Rachel. I'm Ezin Chang. This is my wife. Hi. My name is Fiona. <laughs> This Jesus guy's Christ. so much. Mikey's a big shot tech startup guy. Don't forget your password. He's your man. <laughs> oh, he's such a douchebag. Mm -hmm. Punch him in the face just once. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in my usual corner. I'm pretty sure anyone punching anyone in this family is going to be a big lawsuit. Yeah, ruffle some feathers. Mm. Have you prepped Rachel to face the wolves? Rachel is a New Yorker. I think she can manage our family. I love your confidence in her, man. Yeah. It's nice. Naive, but it's nice. Your family is a lot. So you're not from a Taiwan Chu family? Nope. Malaysian packing peanut chews? Is that really a thing? I'm gonna stop you there. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of them? Yeah. Rachel, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> <Are you? laughs> <laughs> fucking laugh. <laughs> Even he didn't think it was funny. But the boss part is, it was kind of funny. Yeah. Never been to a Tanhua party before. Do your parents like to entertain? Oh. I'm sorry, your mother's single. Oh boy, that uh, way she said that. Yeah, I don't think she forgot. What line of work is your father in? Yeah. Oh man. My father died before I was born. He was a factory worker in China. Everybody gonna bring this up? Pretty much. Don't assume. Yeah. She's trying. This is my old nanny. Does she look oh. like a crazy rich old lady? Uh, I see. Now's the time we need all hands on deck. 
please just do me this favor. They started clearing away dinner. This guy doesn't need a lot. I'm gonna put it down to the stress. He's a bit busy. You know, if you need bodies at the office, I could always come in and help out. Isn't Ariminta's bachelorette party tomorrow? Perfect excuse to get out of it. I see. Thank you. But I got everything covered. Oh, buddy. It's hard to watch. Just because you know, like, he wants to be the right thing. Michael, I think it's the office. But he doesn't know what that is. He wants is. to meet the expectations. Well, yeah, but, like, you can tell he wants to be a good person. He's trying to, like, handle everything well. Mm. He's just struggling inside. Oh. And, yeah, there's... Oh, no, buddy. Come on, man. <laughs> you freaked out your neck. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine, don't worry about it. Can I have a tissue, please? Luckily, Nick doesn't care at all. Go, go, get changed. I'll keep Rachel company. Because he's probably got like a thousand of those. Oh, shows. yeah, for sure. You know. I heard you thought Alma was the cook. Oh. Mm -hmm. On the bright side, people like your dress. Oh, I did that. At least they're saying some positive things. Yeah. Disco Cleopatra, but in a good way. That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Just smile and nod. These are lovely. They're clip ons, thank you. Are they? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, they're just gonna talk and cut mm -hmm. her out. Are you a cousin too? I'm one of the poor relations. Rainbow sheep of the family. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm glad that they actually established him as gay and weren't just like, well, he's flouncy, so you know. Whatever the youngs want, I procure a rare Cambodian gong. Why would they want a rare Cambodian? Cambodian gun. Oh. And that would be why. Okay. Yeah. Because they can. Yeah, makes sense. Um, I insist all your clothes be washed and pressed. Everything is exactly as I left it. I mean, why would they need to change? Yeah. They're expecting you to come back. You'll be back. They always come back. <laughs> Remember what she was saying earlier about following your passions? Yes. This guy doesn't get to follow his passions. Nope. I keep telling Amma to put your things away. I got an earful when you didn't move back last year. It's interesting to see that even she cops it from the grandmother. Oh, of course she does. Mm. I'm happy I finally met Rachel. Very impressive. I can't tell if she's telling the truth or not. Yeah, I know. If she's faking it, I'm glad she's at least making the effort. Introducing her at a family gathering. Some people may say, when there's something to say about Rachel and me, you'll be first to hear. Well, I don't know, man. Last time, everyone else heard it first. Yeah, exactly. The whole fucking internet heard yeah. about it first. How do I look? Perfect. Never been one for white suits myself, but he makes it work. Honestly, I think the uh, paler you are, the harder it is to pull off. Very true. The Hanua plants very rarely bloom, only yep. at night. Oh, this is that plant. By dawn, they'll be gone. This is the thing that they came to see. Yeah. They're literally going to watch a flower bloom. Yeah, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's like a rare sight thing. I know. You know, it's crazy. I don't care how rare it is. Yeah. It's a flower blooming, dude. <laughs> Kitty Paul. Rumor is she was in a porno. Who girls? One cup of noodles. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. The book is much better. <laughs> it's a book? <laughs> <laughs> Mirror people like staring at me. They're just jealous. Of course they are. Licky is Alma's favorite. In line to inherit everything. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the Grand Dam. Yeah. Now that looks like a rich old lady. Oh yes. There you are. Are you ready to meet my grandma? And it's always that fancy but underspoken fancy. It's just like all of the details are really clean. Yes. <laughs> Classic grandma. Yeah. Shaming you for not seeing them more often. Or oh, eating enough. But you know, they always use the, I could die soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, you're not married yet. You don't get to fucking call me grandma. But it's not just a family thing. Like everyone here would call her grandma. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick yeah. seems different. When children are away from home too long, they forget who they are. Yeah, become tainted. And this dude is clearly being tainted by uh, this uncouth Western girl. Mm, yeah. What's up, Lancia? Oh my there god. There it is. Yes. Fucking Jimmy. <laughs> I love Jimmy O'Yang. So yeah. Fucking last time we saw him was Fantasy Island, right? Yeah. Dumpster fire of a movie, but... But he's he, great. Yeah, him and Ryan Hansen. Mm. We're flying to my mom's resort in Sumatra. She's closed down the whole place just for us. God damn. Yeah, this is uh, one hell of a bachelorette party. Oh, yeah. But it's nice that the um, bride-to-be is so welcoming. Yeah, she is cool. So you let Bernard Ty organize all of this? Yeah. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, this is Bernard. That makes sense. It does, doesn't it? We haven't met. I'm Amanda Ling. Free talk to you. Oh, you're Nick Young's friend. I guess friend? She's... Yeah, I know, right? Doesn't take their relationship seriously. You're a professor at NYU, right? Well, what about you? General counsel at the Young Family Corporation, actually. It's very impressive. Just good old-fashioned nepotism. <laughs> at least she knows it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ladies, come on! See this? Let's go. 
There's always gonna be that one friend who's just fucking sick of it. Oh yeah. She gotta keep them real, you know? All I wanted was a weekend away with my boys. Maybe some rugby. No rugby. No rugby. It's gonna be great whatever happens. Let's make some don't think it will be. Oh boy. Bernard has uh, no intention of doing anything small. Oh god. Where exactly is this party? It's right there. I gotta say though, colored sunnies the fucking worst to wear. Like when you're actually looking through the yellow or red or whatever. I don't mind them. Oh my god. Oh, he I actually would. wrote it on the side of the fucking ship. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Wow. I guess at least you know the party's exclusive, right? No one gate crash in this one. No. Fuck no. <laughs> unless they're a really good swimmer. You'd think you'd want to launch the firework into the air. Oh, this is just a holy shit. Yeah. Okay. That is not a firework. Right. So maybe don't launch yeah, it straight no, into yeah, the I'm air. Just actually <laughs> in the water. Good call. You have to keep Rachel happy. Nice. Eddie. Are we in some kind of fairy tale story that I don't know about? Did you find a shoe at midnight and jump in a pumpkin? I mean, he did exactly. That's what happened. Yeah. They own up. Her parents own the biggest shipping company in Hong Kong. What's Rachel bringing to the table? Come on, man. Yep. He is one of those guys. Small tits. <laughs> and, I mean, we knew who that guy was from the second he was on screen. Mate. Massage time. Hey, you. You going to get one or we going to tie you up and shave your cuckoo There's not a lot to shave, That's, but uh, uh, sure. <laughs> speaking from personal experience, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Asians are not hairy. <laughs> Look at me. Welcome to paradise. This weekend is about connecting with the divine in all of us. Sure. Starting with all paid shopping's free at the fashion boutique. That's how you find okay. your bliss. Mid, yeah, I guess. It's not really a shopping spree if it's already paid for though. Actually, for these though, girls, this though. is just grab shit. Yeah, it... no one loves free stuff more than rich people. That is true. Mm. At least from my experience. Just the one dress for you. I don't want to lose an arm, but in that case. Sure. Yes, yeah, because she's gonna go with the understated one. Hmm. Nice and simple. Well, isn't Nick a lucky guy? Yeah, she seems mm. quality. <laughs> The spa thing I can get behind a little bit more. I've never been to one. Oh, I've never been. It just seems like a nice idea. Sure. I don't have the money to go to a spa. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> nice little place to bail to. Oh yeah, this this seems much nicer. Nice and relaxing. If it wasn't for Araminta, I'd ask you to marry me. There is a little something that might get in the way of that. Yeah. Of course he's gonna propose. I think we could see this coming from the yeah. opening credits. Yes, man, congratulations. I'm really happy for you, man. I gotta say, I actually do appreciate how neither of those guys are particularly ripped. Cause there seems to be like a more common thing now. Whenever a, any actor takes off their shirt, they're yeah, always kind of ripped. I can see why Nick put off coming back to Singapore. What do you mean? You know, you are supposed to come back last year. Take over the family business. No, she doesn't know that. No. His parents freaked out when he didn't. She doesn't know anything. This is all very new to her. This has <laughs> consistently been her thing this entire time. He's not back for good. I mean, we're just here for a wedding. Oh. Yeah. Are you though? She doesn't know how this works. Mm. Wow. But, no, I'm really happy for you. Mm. I've known you since you were in nappies. I know when there's something on your mind. Yeah, there's an obvious but here. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago that you were sure you were moving back home. And Rachel loves her job in New York. And yeah. we're going to figure that out. You're going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. mm. I think you should figure that out before the proposal. It's hard you knowing where you stand with someone like Nicholas Young. You just never know what's quite going on in that gorgeous head of him. You can say that for pretty much all people. Yeah. Nick told you that we were together, right? He did oh. not. It's ancient history now. He's told her basically nothing. Although our families always wanted us to get married. You know, I like the idea that he didn't tell her just because he didn't want to taint her perception of him early. Mm. And not so much the relationship stuff, more the money, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You were always going to be the next chairman of the young corporation. You really think your family's going to accept anything less than that? And there it is. Mm-hmm. No. Are you thinking of walking out? Yeah. Yeah. I met a girl. I fell in love and I want to marry her. It'd be really tough being in his position. No, 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 no. It's it's not that simple. You know that. I do not envy the pressure he's under. Oh, absolutely not. I really admire you coming all the way over here when Eleanor isn't exactly in your corner. You ever thought about what your relationship would be like if you got married? You're untouchable. You always have been. This best friend is good. But Rachel's not. If she becomes Mrs. Nicholas Young. Look, you gotta ask the question. Yeah, at least he's being real. That's what I mean. He's just saying, think about it, dude. Consider all the possible possibilities, implications and stuff. I and yeah. What? Yeah. She's not even that pretty. It's like she's never heard of plastic surgery. Dude. Personal choice. And not your business more than anything else. Rachel? Let's just 
forget about those girls. Good news is she does at least have one person to yeah. lean on here. Bad news is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah. They did all of this. Guts on the pillow and everything. Oh, man. Look who's here today. No. I'm not gonna make a scene. I'm not gonna give him the satisfaction. I do like that she wants to take a minute to figure out how she's gonna yeah, handle like, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear about the kind of fucked up shit rich people do. And yeah, that uh, that makes sense. Why would you admit to even have friends like that? Grow up your whole lives together? I make excuses for people. Especially the morons. Yeah, grow up in this environment. Well, at least tell me it gets better. Of course it does. Oh. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. She's not okay. But she's handling it very admirably. I think in this world, mm. you have to. Oh, uh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I think if she's learned one thing in her lifetime, it's how to maintain composure. Michael is having an affair. There you go. Kind of nice this is the first person she's confided in. Well, it's nice for Rachel. Not so nice that she doesn't feel like she has anyone else that she can Yeah, on. no, that sucks. I guess, yeah, she does see a kindred spirit in Rachel that she's not. Part of the gossip circle. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I thought I was here to meet your family. Instead, I feel like I'm a villain in a soap opera plotting to steal your family fortune. Yeah, those are the same thing in their eyes. Just such bullshit because she didn't even know. I'm the evil person that prevented you from moving back. But I didn't even know you were supposed to come home. Although I do think he made that choice based on her. Yes. I'm not saying she's evil or yeah. anything. You just, you know. And she didn't make him. Yeah, no, he not chose. at all. Yeah, he chose. He didn't even tell her. There's also this gutted, bloody fish left for me in my hotel room. Yep. Yeah. Please tell me that's all that happened. I love how he's not even surprised. He's worried that there was more. And it's like, dude, <laughs> you knew this was coming and you didn't warn her. Uh, Everything else about Nick so far that I can tell, he's a pretty nice, sweet guy. Yeah. Just a bit naive. Like you can see why he wanted to introduce this to her slowly. Mm. But if you knew that this sort of shit was on the table, yeah, you kind of needed to be a bit more on top of that. <laughs> I get the feeling he was just really hoping that all the best case scenarios could technically happen. Yeah, so. yeah. She didn't know, and I mm. I told them that she didn't know, but doesn't matter. People yeah. believe what they want to believe. I don't care that your ex-girlfriend told me all this crap. You didn't tell me any of it. Why would you do that? I made a mistake. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Exactly what I was saying, right? Should have come from you. When we first met, you had no idea who I was. You just wanted to put it off. You are so different from all of the women that I grew up with. And I love who I am around you. You don't like other girls. <laughs> don't want that to change. And that's selfish, I know. I'm sorry that you had to deal with that on your own. But yeah, you can see he was happy to just have what he feels like is a more normal relationship. Yeah, exactly. He wanted a relationship without all the other bullshit to deal with. Whatever happens, we'll get through it together. Dead fish and all. <laughs> you're so gross. Babe, you're just gonna have to get used to the odd dead animal showing up in your bedroom. <laughs> oh, it is great. They talk through it. Yeah. He's supportive. He owned up to the fact that he screwed up. This is too much. Better too many than have people say we're stingy. Damn, I just saw the stack. Mm -hmm. You put the baby in bed. Tuck, tuck. Then you eat the baby. Exactly. Yes. Must eat the young to survive. Did your mom teach you that? She did. Not like the unwashed macaroni and cheese for their own children. No wonder they put their parents in the old folks' home. <laughs> yeah, it was the mac and cheese. <laughs> That's what did it. God. Ama says if we don't pass tradition style, they'll disappear. God forbid we lose the ancient Chinese tradition of guilting your children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Totally worth it. Mother used to wait for me after school with a basket of these. Hey, it's not all bad. At least there's still good food. Mm. Hey, I never got after school dumplings. That's because Auntie Felicity was doing after school micro deliberation. <laughs> Is someone still going to eat that dumpling piece? Yeah, of course. Don't waste food. It's just great seeing you guys all like this. Me and my mom. We didn't really have a big family like this. Really nice. Yeah. When I was younger, I could relate to this point of view. And it's funny, I had the opposite one where I had the big family. Mm. So I missed this. Technically speaking, I have a large family, but I wasn't raised with all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful ring, Auntie Eleanor. Nick's father had it made when he proposed to me. How did you guys meet? Cambridge. Naturally. Trust. I withdrew from university when we got married. I chose to help my husband run a business, raise a family. Yeah. You may think it's old fashioned. Now she gets her personal dig. Yeah. It's nice you appreciate this house, but all this is because we know to put family first instead of chasing one's passion. Fucking brutal. Yeah. Just being like, yeah, you mooch off of this. Mm -hmm. You don't appreciate what goes into it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, of course, yeah, she's copying it from just, you know, standard intergenerational trauma. Yep. I'm afraid that I've 
been unfair. You asked about my ring. Nick's father had it made because Amma wouldn't give him the family ring. He didn't buy it though. Oh. He had it made. Yeah. I didn't come from the right family. And Amma thought I would not make an adequate wife. But she came around, yeah. obviously. So you think that she's understanding. You, you think that. I wondered if I would ever measure up. I know this much. The walking her down is uh, Yeah. That's a tactic. You will never be enough. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if she knew that was where that was going. I don't think so. We should head back. Yeah. I wouldn't want Nick to worry. She didn't look shocked, it's, but it, deeply hurt. It's so fucked because it's like, they're the same. Mm -hmm. They're marrying into the family. Yeah. And she's literally just being like, hey, this is how it is. Well, it, it's <laughs> Get almost, used to it. It's almost like she's saying, it's not the money that you're not good enough. Yeah. You're just not good enough. Yeah, it's just, yeah, and you never will be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. even saying like, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. Just get used to it, bro. Yeah. I know my mom can be tough at times, but there is a reason why I lived with Amar growing up. Yeah, several, I'm sure. My mother knew she wasn't the favorite, so she let her raise me, so I would be. Jeez. Yep, sacrifices. That's rough. It's hard to understand from the outside. I think it's just hard to understand, dude. She did what she thought was best for the family, for everyone involved. Okay, okay not we, logically hard we, to understand. We say that from the outside. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. I think I've had enough with dumplings for the rest of my life. <laughs> Heresy. Yeah, actually. Scrub those words out of your mouth. You wash your mouth with soap, boy. <laughs> <laughs> was she like, you will never be good enough? Or was it like, you will never be good enough? The second one. Except for in a way that made me want to like cry and puke at the same time. Yeah, she did look like she wanted to be sick. Oh, yeah. You know, I bet if you told her you'd leave Nick for like a million dollars, she will write that check. Yeah. <laughs> she looked at me like I was nothing. Ten million dollar check. I feel like she would do that. To them, <laughs> sending you off for ten million dollars is nothing. Yeah. I can't even tell Nick because he like worships her. Chinese sons their mom's part Chanel number five. <laughs> Very specific. It's Colin and Araminta's day. I feel like I should just sit it out. Oh, dude. I kind of do appreciate how it's like, you think they're the same, right? They're both yeah. married into it, but the mom will never see her as the same because raising a different culture, different ideology That's around sacrifice, yeah. you know, for family and whatnot. She's like, no, no, no. You'll mm -hmm. never be good enough. You won't even come close. It's yeah. about getting her to respect you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She just thinks you're some undeserving, gold digging, okay, I got it. unrefined banana. Anna. Just keep going. Yep. Yellow on the outside, or white on the inside. Oh, right. <laughs> In reality, you're like a super smart professor of game theory. Show her that side of you. Yeah, unfortunately, she doesn't care about any of that stuff. She's like trying to play a game of chicken with me. Kind of. Where she's like coming at me and thinking I'm going to swerve like a chicken. Yes. You got to make her respect those things. Chickens are bitches. <laughs> Sorry, uncle. What the fuck? <laughs> that dude's like, oh god, this one again. <laughs> I have been waiting to do this properly for so long. Root crimps, maybe some eyelid tape. What? Sorry, eyelid tape? Sorry. All of it. Sweetie, your skin is so dry, it's hurting my face. Why Why are we taping the eyelids? Yo, it's about time someone stood up to Aunt Eleanor. Well, you, not me. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure she looks like a clown's tampon. Yeah, I don't love oh, it. What yeah. The you look like a flower. Sad, lonely flower. Of <laughs> course, we got to do the, you know, fashion montage bit. Oh, oh. This is Material Girl. Yep. Ah. Brilliant. You kind of look like a slutty Ebola virus. <laughs> <laughs> slutty Ebola virus? That's fantastic. Oh, they kind of screwed her over by making her the valet. <laughs> I think she might have chosen that herself. I mean, it's a look. Mm. Looks fucking great. <laughs> You know, ultimately, I liked some of the other dresses more than this one. I really find that's always the case mm. in movies. Mm. The one they end up going with is never bad, but it's just kind of underspoken compared to the other ones. Yeah. But that's me, I guess. Well, look, I like simple, just not this kind. Mm. Amanda, you're in my way. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. brilliant. Our Chinese investors are getting nervous. I have to fly into Shenzhen on Monday to try and talk them down. You know, call them out. It's Cassian's birthday. I'm here to miss him. Don't know if it's now. On his, uh, his little business trips. But this is important. You think your son's birthday is important? Yeah, that too. Unless there's another reason you're out of town. Oh, mm. they're getting into yeah, it. There it is. I know you're having an affair. I know it's hard, but I guess you got to do it. Let's just get through the wedding and we'll deal with it after. You gotta get out of the way. I don't wanna make a scene. 
You find out I'm having an affair and you're worried about making a scene. Well, she's got multiple worries. Yeah. You'd rather I scream and carry on? It would show you cared about more than what people thought of you. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Try and turn this on me. I'm not the one who screwed up. I feel like he's projecting his insecurities a little. You're always the prettiest, most perfect girl in the room. Well, I'm just this lucky bastard who will never measure up. Yeah, there it is. Yep, direct and outright. This way you hide the jewelry you buy. The very minute not reminded of it. Yeah, she just doesn't want to make him feel bad. Yeah, even then she's trying. Yeah. She's trying. And I think it seems pretty obvious that she cares. I'm tired of having nothing I do matter. Of course, what you do matters. Yeah. You're the one who doesn't believe it. In fact, I don't think she ever cared about how much money he had. Yeah. But I like that they're showing that other side of it mm, mm. when the person who's marrying in gets insecure and weird about it and can't yeah. let it go. Is this a church or a paddy field? It's the second one. Both? Yeah. Princess in time. I she demanded a whole row to herself. Yeah, maybe she's sick of all the rich, pretentious uh, bullshit. Yeah, I was going to say, I can vibe with that. <laughs> Who is that? Yep. Yeah. She does have that kind of spine. Surprise. How lovely to see you. The pleasure is all mine. And now they both have the same demeanor. Yeah. Yay. I'm sorry. Our row is full. Oh, jeez. Dude, I don't know if she wants to sit with you, so I guess that kind of yeah, works but out. because she didn't say it first. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, she's gonna sit with her? Uh huh. She, she doesn't know she why doesn't this know. lady's alone, so sit with her. Princess Intan. Oh, maybe she does know. Rachel Chu, I read your article about microloans. <laughs> <laughs> I received so much criticism about that article. Yep. I think your critics missed the point because your microloans help women and women lift up economies. It helps when you really understand the person you're talking to. Yeah. What is your name again? Rachel Chu. Well, yeah, you uh, connect with them on a personal level rather than the superficial niceties. Well, engage in her interests. Yeah. Thank you. I'm well. Yeah. They should. Hmm. I want to thank my family members. Yeah. Rachel's not sitting with your family. I don't blame her. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be at the back somewhere. It's right at the front. Yep. Yeah. She's not working her way up that social ladder. <laughs> I think you've got to find her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, the best friend is pretty quality. Yeah. It's time. And not just in the sense that he's a nice guy. I mean, yeah, mm. there's that. But he cares about what matters. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Make sure she doesn't take your boss. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, dude, no. Dick. Thanks for dressing up, man. I forgot about me. You gotta stop doing that when you're, like, a teenager. Fucking asshole. But yeah. And of course, he's the only one in that fucking blazer. Mm. It's not a fucking Yeah, naturally. We don't get a Mandarin cover of this one? No, apparently not. Can or Cantonese, I'm flexible. Uh, it's a nice song, but it's so slow. Yeah. It I prefer it a little faster myself. Mm. I, I mean, you know I'm a fan of sappy shit. Mm, yes. But, you know. Falling in love. <laughs> That is pretty cute, though. Yeah, it's cute as fuck. Mm. You know, I have to say, I don't like gold in general, but I like it in musical equipment. Huh. I like it on the mics. I like having golden knobs on guitars, stuff like that. Sorry, yeah. I'm just distracted by this water feature. Yeah. Was she going to fucking come in from the ceiling? No, I'm pretty sure she's going to walk down the water aisle. Personally, I wouldn't want to. I'd be worried about, like, slipping and shit. Yeah, you know? right? Oh, they're going to, like... Yep. Like the fireflies and stuff. They're doing the whole thing. I mean, it does look fucking pretty. Yeah. And I don't even like nature. Yes, I'm not a nature guy. <laughs> commitment to the aesthetic. Well, that's oh, nice. That's sweet. And even though you didn't see much of their relationship prior mm. to the movie, you didn't believe it. Oh, yeah. I feel like I really do feel the chemistry between them. Well, it helps that they've shown them to both be supportive people who are open yes. to communication. <laughs> Fucking swanky. Yeah, right. I love that for all the like analysis and breaking down and criticism of like rich culture. It's mm. still like, but look at how fucking rich these guys are. <laughs> <laughs> spectacular. It's the double stakes. Personally, I do not enjoy any of this kind of stuff, but it is a spectacle. It's not a class. It's just 
here. I mean, I wouldn't mind it like once in a blue moon, going to something super fancy like this. The only reason I'm interested in this kind of event is the food. Fair enough. Okay, to be fair, also being nice for family and friends, you know. I still like to support loved ones. Yes, of course. Um. Jesus Christ. Guys. Oliver, be a deer and take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, all this talk to Rachel, just now, mm. now we're picking that out. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer how Oliver's the constant errand boy, though. Yeah, he's never gonna meet the traditional expectations of getting a wife and stuff, so he has to be useful in other ways. Alistair, your father's looking for you. Something about an overdrawn discretionary account. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he just fucking runs. Not out. That's so great. I do like the wedding. So glamorous. This part's better. Oliver's a genius. It's Alistair's in my wedding. Mm. Now I just like this. You'd be lucky if Alistair's parents give you a tea ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Alistair's only the fourth son of a penny pinching family. He'll get next to nothing. You should have fallen in love with an only child. Someone like Bernard died. Oh my god. Brilliance. Oh, that works so well on so many levels. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Did you see that one coming? Rachel has been lying to us about her family. What? I hired a private investigator Mom, to look didn't. into her past. What? I mean, they brought up the PI thing earlier. She said her father passed away Mom. in China. Your mother's husband is very much alive. She cheated on him and became pregnant. She ran away to America. And you think she knows all that and is hiding it. Oh, shit. The scandal this would have caused for Rachel to hide this. Neither of them knew about this. She didn't know. We cannot be linked to this sort of family. Yeah, rich people. Yeah, and it's like, even if she didn't know, it doesn't matter. I don't want any part of your family. Rachel. Push you through let me go. And now they make it clear about the grandma. I mean, you could kind of always tell. Yeah, but... you could. You get the hints, but yeah, it's it's got to come from somewhere. <laughs> hey, Cinderella, you gonna retain your dress before midnight? <laughs> Shut up, Eddie. Dick. Oh, Jesus. Guys. Yeah, just it's just so fucked that it's like, even if she didn't know, doesn't matter. Yeah. It's scandalous. It's shameful as they don't want to be connected to it. Yep. And of course, they only know the tangential details that they could pick up from a file or whatever. Yeah. Well, all that really matters is that it's like, your dad is not who you said he is. Oh, and your mother cheated. Yeah, and your mother cheated. You, have you. You're a bastard child. So yeah. You really see the consistency with other cultures and their rich classes. Yep. Not all of them, but yeah. some common threads. Rachel, you need to eat or use the bathroom. Well, you know, if she hasn't been eating or drinking, she yeah. probably doesn't need to use the bathroom. Yeah. What do you do? Call your mom and be like, hey, so like, did you cheat on your husband and have me? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet though. It's great that she's got a great friend with a pretty supportive family. Yeah. They're weird, but they're nice. Yeah. I can't speak for their, uh, their, their taste son. in interior design. Oh, okay. But you know, good people are good people. Yeah, absolutely. Rachel, please just give me a call. Anytime. And I appreciate that he tried to go after her. Absolutely. And he's still trying to, you know, figure it out. Yeah. Get in contact. Someone's here to see you. I don't want to see him. It's not Nick. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Her mom, though, here. The actor is also the mom in Kung Fu. She does a great job. The show, right? Yeah, the newer Chinese American show. Your spirit has always been so strong. You will get through this. Why didn't you tell me about my father? Because it was tough. Yeah. My husband wasn't a good man. He hurt me. Yep. But an old schoolmate of mine helped me through things. We fell in love, and I got pregnant with his baby, you. And these are those details that the PI would not be able to get. Exactly. I was so afraid my husband would kill us both, so I took you and I ran to America. Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta totally. do. Totally legit reasoning. All I could think about was reaching out for him, but I was so afraid my husband yeah. would find us. God. It's a big risk. And her first thought would have been taking care of her daughter. Exactly. I'm really sorry. Don't be sorry. Everything that happened is the reason why I got you. You gotta love that. Yeah. It's hard to look back with like sadness, regret, anger. I mean, some of that, sure, but she got something great out of it. I really thought he was the one. Now I just wanna go home. Man. I know. It's the all is lost moment, you know? Nick was the one who called me and brought me out here. Oh, there you go. nice. Yeah. I think you should go and talk to him. See? 
He gets you. I love that. I love that he was like, all right, she doesn't want to talk to me. I'll get someone who she will want to talk to. Yep. Who she probably needs to talk to. I'll email the photo later. What the fuck, man? PT, how long have you been standing there? Just a short while. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Uh, okay, sure. That is like, uh, least of our problems. Yeah, actually, I guess. I'm so sorry about everything. What my mother did to you is unforgivable. It's not your fault. It is. I appreciate that he's taken this angle. Since I can remember, my family has been my whole life. I am done making excuses for them. But I do feel like he was kind of heading in this direction for personal growth before all this happened. Yes. You know? It was uh, in the process, which is what makes this believable. Marry me and we'll start a new life together in New York. I'll leave all of this behind. Well, I mean, you know, it feels like the basis of their relationship came from him wanting to do things differently well, yeah. than what he was raised with. a life with. that is not governed by the same uh, expectations and rules. Exactly. And yeah, honestly, this is not, at least to me, it's not so much a Chinese culture thing, but just a rich culture thing. Absolutely. I think that that's what he wanted to get away from. Yeah. More so than anything, it's yeah. just all that crap. <laughs> yeah. And you see these consistent themes of insane pressure with rich families. Yeah, for so. sure. I can see, obviously, there's overlap with Chinese culture and stuff too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. but it's more about the yeah. power and wealth influence all that stuff i like that the message of the movie isn't forsake your chinese roots yeah go to america embrace western culture because that's better yeah it's not that it's not that which is good <laughs> ah mahjong. mahjong yeah i haven't played this since i was a kid thanks for meeting me here don't worry about them they're half deaf and they only speak hokkien <laughs> But they're really nice. Yeah. I like the idea that they know who she is. They just don't care. Yeah. Like, you here to play or not? Yeah. No rich people in Mahjong. Mm. <laughs> Only winners and losers. <laughs> I know Nick told you the truth about my mom, but you didn't like me the second I got here. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Why is that? There is a Hokkien phrase, Gakilang, our own kind of people. Uh -huh. You're not our own kind. Because I'm not rich? Because I didn't go to a British boarding school? It's not the money. Yeah, it's... Uh... You're foreign. It's that. Mm. All Americans think about is their own happiness. She's not real Chinese. Yeah. We understand how to build things that last. Something you know nothing about. You don't know anything about her either. It's a, uh, well, based on assumption. Yeah, absolutely. I know you're not what Nick needs. Doesn't Nick get to decide what he needs? Mother knows best. Mm. Well, he proposed to me yesterday. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah. Didn't see that coming. He said he'd walk away from his family and from you for good. Yep. Don't worry, I turned him down. Did you see that one coming? Damn. Only a fool falls for winning hand. There's no winning. You made sure of that. Makes sense though. Because if Nick chose me, he would lose his family. Yeah, his family's still important to him. And she's smart enough to see all of the details. Yeah. And if he chose his family, he might spend the rest of his life resenting you. Yep. Mm-hmm. And she's not going to get in between the mother and the son. Mm -hmm. She's trying to show the mom to make that same decision. I'm not leaving because I'm scared or because I think I'm not enough. Maybe for the first time in my life, I know I am. Anya. Yeah, that's nice. I just love Nick so much. I don't want him to lose his mom again. Yeah, really thinking it through. So... Uh, I just wanted you to know when he marries another lucky girl who is enough for you. Assuming that is a possibility. That it was because of me. Oh. <laughs> a poor, low-class immigrant nobody. That is so good. Yeah, that's a mic drop moment. That really is. Wish you had a mic, oh. but you know, whatever. So, you know what, I'll do a four-hour. <laughs> See, that is such a fucking power move. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send someone for the rest of my stuff. Don't worry about packing your things. You bought this apartment, we're leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? Where are you gonna go? What do you mean? She... I have 14 apartment buildings. Yeah, man, I think she's fine. She got a lot of places to go to. Yeah. Look, you know it's not just my fault that things didn't work out. There is some truth to that, yeah. I shouldn't have kept things from you. Hidden my shoes. Relationships are two-sided. Turn down jobs. Worrying that it might make you feel less of that. To be clear, I'm not saying it's her fault. I'm saying it's mm. their fault for not having strong communication. Not the cheating. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. The cheating no. is his fault. <laughs> well, yeah, no, absolutely. But like the idea of like we're both at fault here is like, yeah, there are two people in a relationship and you both have to manage it well. But let's be clear. The problem with our marriage isn't my family's money. It's that you're a coward. Yep. Yeah. You gave up on us. 
Yep, yeah. all of that. It's not my job to make you feel like a man. Mm. I can't make you something you're not. Oh, the mic drop moments here are so good. Yeah. But I love that. She's like, the worst thing I did was indulge your bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, yes, that is not a good thing, but. Yeah. Walking away from Nick and his family. You have no one, no net worth. Now, you know what? But you have integrity. Both of us being, you know, children of immigrants. Mm. Fucking love that mic drop moment. Yeah. With the mom. Yeah, you <laughs> can't get over it. I guess, yeah, I really do resent the idea of, um, you know, you're not insert whatever ethnicity enough, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. It's like, of course. Right. I mean, you know, I get that. Yeah. Mm. And it's bullshit. Yeah. You're fucking Thai because you are Thai. I'm Italian because I am Italian. Uh, yeah. It's no fucking measuring scale, thanks. <laughs> well, luckily my close family, no issues with the yeah, interracial yeah. No, thing. Same, same mm. in terms of the immigrant thing. Like no one ever cared about that. Sure, I can get you to stay. My brother PT is still single. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Do you want to live with this rift? between mm -hmm. you and your son, <laughs> you know? Hey, is this yellow by Coldplay? Yes, it is. Mm. <laughs> it was all yellow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> kind of an was odd it? choice, guys. Was, this, was that a deliberate choice? <laughs> if that was a deliberate choice, I'll fucking pay that. Say that. I'm gonna go and look for some extra back. Oh, mom. Hello. Hi, then. <laughs> Just one second. I'm flying back to New York with you. Obviously. I always imagined what proposing to you would be like. I had it all planned out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one guy. gives a shit about your fucking moment. Yeah. Well, this lady does. She cares. Yeah, she's getting invested. There's a cove there that opens up to this beautiful lake. Get around the guy first. Yeah. Sorry, dude. There you go. When the sun hits the horizon, I get down on one knee. Because it's just you. Sorry. I can help you with that. Oh, yeah. pit stains. That's <laughs> rough. Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> but it's, it's nice that he's still displaying that good guy attitude. Yeah, I'm glad he's not getting pissed. He's like, look, I get it. I'm in the way. I'll just help all you guys. Yeah. This is a far throw from a hidden paradise. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. Wherever you are in the world, that's where I belong. But I... Oh, damn. Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 you will marry you! <laughs> I almost oh, wanted Rachel to not actually say something. She's like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, she did it. She got yeah. there before me. <laughs> I love you too. I'm going to be sent flight back to New York. Well, I was actually thinking about staying one more night. Have one more conversation. Yeah. Well, there you go. Have actual, yeah. The big moment. Welcome her to the family. Mm -hmm. And again, I really do love the best friend and his partner as well, because yes. they were actually supportive oh, the whole yeah, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were. I don't think that the partner was aware of what her friends were doing no. at the Bachelor. No, thing. I don't think so either. Yeah. And yeah, see what I mean with Astrid? Yeah. Like, I didn't want to give away, like, her character arc or direction mm -hmm. early on. But yeah, great character, right? Oh, yeah, really mm. good. <laughs> To pay your respect. Uh, kind of. Yeah. I appreciate that harsh but true part of it where it's like, yeah, she'll let it happen. She doesn't necessarily mean she's like happy with it. You no. can undo generations of, yeah. uh, of this tradition, you know? Not about being happy. And mentality. But, by the way, did you notice that this was a ship? What? On top of these three buildings? That's a ship. Get the fuck? Okay, sure. Why not? Yeah, yeah. all right. All right. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Hey. Hey. Okay. I can't remember this guy's name, the actor. It's Harry, I think. He was in Shadow Hunters. Right. I, There's a nice little thing there. Yeah, and I know the obviously they're not really showing you there. I think that's actually her ex. I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone said that. I think Maria told me that. Mm. I don't know. That all of it. I do believe they actually are making a sequel. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing I that. I would love to see it too because it feels like there was a lot there that was like still pretty open. There's more story. Because it's like the mom caved enough to let them get married for the sake of not ruining her relationship with her son. But yeah, there's clearly not all the way accepted yet. You know, like I said, you can't undo that many generations of tradition of doing things a certain way and that culture and mentality around it, you know? Like all at once. All at once. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can change it, obviously, but yeah. 
yeah, over time. I appreciate that they didn't go for that. It would have been the happier, you mm. know, version to mm -hmm. have her just totally come around and, you know, but... Uh, less believable. But yeah, again, less believable. This is more realistic. Mm -hmm. I like that it didn't shy away from the more uncomfortable parts of mm -hmm. uh, the culture, both in terms of like rich culture and mm -hmm. also Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. Now, like some parts of it are really fucking strict and that doesn't really leave a lot of room for individual fulfillment because it's all for the sake of the family and the collective and the whole. I, I do appreciate, I guess, the way they handled it. And something I'm noticing a bit more often in Western Asian, I would say, I guess, yeah. media is I'm starting to see more recognition from people about the problematic areas of some of the traditions that yeah. they, we have, I'm going to say because of different Asian cultures it are depends. obviously subdivided. <laughs> yeah. It depends on how we're getting into it. But you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like growing up, it was just like a general thought process of, nah, everyone's fully on board with this crappy behavior towards a mm. family and whatever. And yeah. I feel like it slowly changed as I've gotten older, or maybe I'm just seeing more good examples. I know that there is a bit of a discussion about Western movies basically saying that these cultures need to be more Western. But when you take mm. it from people from that culture, you mm. get a more balanced approach to it where it's like, no, 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 keep your culture, keep your traditions. It's all great. We just don't want the stuff that's objectively harmful the bad stuff you know because yeah I mean, just because it's tradition doesn't mean it's good it'd be nice if the sequel came out relatively soon and we can get to it yeah that'd be cool you know sooner rather than later but we'll see what happens with that yeah until next time you've been with sam stuff and weather, weather movie buds, buds.